Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 online video I'm going to be giving you guys kind of my synopsis and sort of the information that Rockstar has given us today about cheaters and modded money in GTA online. So if you do like this kind of video or find the information helpful, please drop a like on the video. I would really appreciate it guys. Your support on the past few videos has been amazing. Other than that, let's get started. So like I just mentioned, I'm going to be talking about more of the information side first and then I'll give you my opinions and what I think is going to happen in the future. So this is from Rockstar's official newswire. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check out the full article. Today I'm just kind of going to be giving you, like I said, a summary and a synopsis. So last night around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, GTA 5 went down for maintenance and they've never done that before for a patch. They've been able to do uh, their updates pretty standardly where they just, you know, apply them through a hot fix and you have to go to the dashboard and then come back into the game in order to receive the patch. But they actually shut down GTA 5 online for I want to say about maybe 16, 12 hours, something like that. So it was a fairly long downtime for an update. So I knew that this was going to be big. So they state, in the recent weeks, there have been a lot of players that have sought to exploit the game by generating and distributing game-breaking amounts of in-game cash, disrupting the experience for other players. So those who have actively engaged in cheating and exploit the game in this manner will have or be subject to penalties in the game at our discretion. So what they mean by that is it might be include being placed in an isolated cheater pool or banned from GTA Online altogether. So uh, they also state again that if you are innocent and if you have received these fraudulent amounts of dollars or mods in any way to please contact them and they're going to try to work that out. However, I'm assuming that there's going to be some range of error here where innocent people have already been put in the cheater pool and have already been banned. So I know that this system isn't going to be perfect, but I'm glad to see that cheaters and people who did these mods and monies and stuff like that are actually going to be put in their proper lobbies where they can't do that to anyone anymore. So I do think that's cool. So that's basically the entire article right there. It wasn't a huge update. It looks like for the most part they were just scanning accounts and wiping things. It didn't happen to my account because I've never received any modded money or, or of course never given any away. But a lot of people were complaining that, you know, this wasn't the right thing to do. And that now if you have actually been, if your money was reset, they took you back down to $500,000 or less. And a lot of people's argument is, but I earned a million dollars legit. Why can you take that away? Well, some questions that you want to think of is how many cars have you bought? How many times have you, uh, you know, changed your paint job, uh, called in a bounty, used mercenaries? How many times was your car destroyed? How many times did you fill up ammo? All those things you have to consider before you say, hey, I earned, you know, so much money legit because obviously... You, when you have a billion dollars, you don't think of the money you spend. It's just like someone in real life. If someone has a billion dollars to their name, they're not going to notice every time that they get their car cleaned or they get their car, you know, repainted. But if you're working on a salary of $40,000, that's a huge deal to, you know, get a car changed or get a car cleaned. So obviously those are two contrasting and different examples. But you know what I mean. If you earned your money legitly and if you only had a million dollars, you would be more interested in it and then if you had a billion dollars and you knew it was essentially unlimited. So those are some things to think about when you say, hey, Rockstar, why are you so cruel? You took away all my hard-earned money even though I did have a you know a billion dollars gifted to me. So those are some things to think about. Don't just think about the fact that you got that money legit because you probably would have spent it anyways and it probably would be out by now if you didn't have a billion dollars gifted to you in other, other manners. So anyways, guys, that's really the update for today. Of course, GTA 5 Online is working flawlessly right now for me. I haven't had any issues due to this update and I haven't seen any new bounties placed that have been like nine million or something dollars like that. So it looks like GTA Online is good to go for now, but I'm sure there will be some issues arising in the future. Hopefully not, because I really want to see things like Heist and the stock market and the casinos come out soon. And I know that Rockstar is going to have to balance the economy in order for that to happen. Anyways, guys, thanks for liking the video. Like I said, if you do enjoy this video, push the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to see all my daily gaming videos that I do on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.